Your studio will grow and expand just as your creator journey does. This is a good, but sometimes can be expensive kind of thing. The best way to grow your studio is to buy things as you need them, which is actually how Mr. Beast did and how I've done it. All the equipment I have, the cameras looking through at you right now, the, the lights that are shining on my face, the green screen. I didn't buy that all at once. This took over three years to get all of this. And it's because I buy things when you need it, when you learn how to use those things. As you improve their videos over time and focus on improving the audio or the video quality or the lighting, Etc. that's when you want to buy those things. That's also why I have multiple microphones at this point. I literally started just with this and so have thousands of other successful creators. With that being said, I'm not telling you to start with your phone. I'm not telling you to start with the studio. What I'm saying is start with what you know how to use. Because once you know how to use that, there's no point in not using utilizing, but you don't want to enter your bank account with something that you have no clue what how it works. Because then you're just robbing yourself. Of now, as far as computers goes, I highly recommend you get a computer because it's a lot easier to edit and monitor your channel from there. But you don't necessarily have to do that because again, there are apps for this thing that allow you to edit, record, and all of that stuff. And the cameras are getting better all the time for phones. But I will say computers do have a lot better storage than the phone does. When you notice something in your videos you don't like, that is when it's time to upgrade something. For example, I wanted to upgrade my audio. My audio has not always been great in the past. So I switched from my phone mic to this mic. And then later on in a couple years, I switched from this to this. That's the Elgato mic. And by far, I love that mic a lot more than I like the other one. You can hear my voice more clear through it. You don't necessarily need to get the best of everything. After all, this definitely is not the most high quality phone. These webcams are not the most high quality webcam, nor is this tripod, but it's what works for me. I'm making the best with what I have as I need to get it. You wanna work your way up with what you're comfortable with. If you're comfortable using basic things, use basic things. If you wanna learn how to do more advanced stuff, then use the advanced stuff. Another thing to note is don't get hung up on green screens. You don't need to have something fancy Fancy like what I have right here. You wanna know how I got started with the green screen? It was a green piece of poster board that I attached to this. That was my first green screen. Not very effective, but it worked. I ended up graduating to this and using this as the backdrop to stabilize my green screen, which this is just a bed frame. Not really what you would consider professional, but hey, it worked at the time. And then I got this that I could detach on it and it looks so much better, but wait. After a while more, then I got this tripod to hang the green screen on and now I'm getting to make the videos like what you're seeing currently. But you see, I didn't start with this green screen. It changed over time as I needed an upgrade. And you need to do the same thing with your assets. Focus on upping your video quality as much as possible. Focus on one thing at a time and as you do that, your studio will grow around you just like mine did. And you may be wondering why listen to me when I'm obviously not the owner of a play button. I'm not a large YouTuber. First off, equipment is expensive. Secondly, you might buy stuff that you don't even need. Like for example, I bought my audio mixer. Thanks to that, I got a mic, I have a digital one. So this one isn't even neat. I didn't look into the digital one before I bought this because I thought, oh, well, I'll probably need this. When in reality, I don't. That is why you want to pay attention to what parts of your studio you're buying and if you actually need it or not so you can save money instead of just breaking your bank. By not spending money on unnecessary equipment, it frees up money for equipment that you do need. As well as it frees up your time to make better videos or to learn how to make better videos like what like watching videos like this. And of course, with that free time, you can also figure out how do you la launch your own merch or how do you get people to make videos with you? And you know, put your money in the savings too. And by not constantly buying equipment, you save you save up time to learn how do you use this new equipment efficiently. So it's not just lying around where you could use it or you're using it, but not really and not really well. Not to mention the storage space. If you don't have room for the equipment, you probably shouldn't be buying it. You should think about how much storage space you have before you buy more equipment. Don't buy more than what you got room for, please. Hey, it's me, Shards. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to click this one over here. I'm sure you're gonna love it. I'll see you over there. Don't forget to subscribe.